Yeshiva World. Today I'm fortunate enough to be in Oxnard, California. That is right. The Herzog Winery. We are here. Some of you might remember this from a music video shot by 8 Day entitled Hula Hula. This is the exact location. We're going to give you guys a little bit of education because every Friday you make Kiddush on wine. Anytime there's a Simcha, you're drinking wine. Do you ever wonder how the process is made or how you get from a little grape into a bottle of wine? In just a little while, we're going to show you a little bit about the process. We'll educate you. We'll be able to explain why some wines are more expensive than others and show the process. With me today from Herzog Winery is the one and only Mati Herzog. How are you, Mati? Good, how are you? How long would you say the actual process is just time-wise from, from the grape being planted till the, an actual bottle of wine hitting well, the ground? The grape planted that we have Arlen only after that process, after Arlen, usually even a year later, that we'll use the wine to make a quality wine up. Right. Uh, then the process is when you, once you bring the grapes in, you have the winemaking process, which is at the minimum of a year, to the higher end wine, which will be approximately three years until you see them out on the shelves. So for instance, 2012 is what you see on the shelves now, or 2016. So that's the process, the aging process, the winemaking process, fermentation process, and then sitting in the barrels for a while, and then into the bottle. So basically what Mati is saying is if you want to get into making wine, you're not going to see anything for three years. Anybody can make a decent wine in a good year of grapes. It takes a real winemaker, a specialist, to make out of a so-so year a decent bottle of wine. That's re really where, where, the, where the work that works. Why don't you show us where the whole process starts, Martin? Let's start. So this is called the destemmer. What happens is you put the grapes through the destemmer and the grapes follow through. What happens is there's, there's a fan and a motor going inside which pushes the lightweight stuff, which is going to be your leaves and your stems out and the only thing which will fall through is things fitting through this size, which is the grapes, the berries of the grapes. So this has been fermented. This has been fermented, it's starting to age. So this now is being aged in the tank and soon this will be put into the barrels. We just emptied out barrels. We're gonna put some of them in new barrels, some of them in older barrels, but we're putting them back. And is this drinkable barrels. for the average person or just for Try a while? Try it, Come you on. tell me, can I smell it? Oh, yeah. So you get beautiful cherry fruit, you get a lot of leather. Um, now when I did this, in, when I was in Brooklyn, when I was in New Jersey over there, Jay Booksman was telling me that this is to uh, aerate it, correct? Correct. Which uh, gives a which gives to... so after a bottle it's much more important sitting in the bottle for a year, for a year closed in it's much more important to do it over here we've been working with it it's so not as important be... but this is fresh taste it smell it and you'll see this is still the raw wine this is as it's going to age you're going to get much more of concentration more viscosity more influence of flavors in the tank and especially once it goes into the barrels. Now, first of all, what is RHWKP and what is this little sticker kosher about? Well, interestingly enough, when we produce the barrels, they form the sides first and then they have to put in, we call this the head. So these are the staves and this is the head. So you do build the staves and then you have to put in the head. Now, before, once you put wine in, what expands? But when you put the wine in right away, before it expands, they're afraid when you put in the head that it's going to leak. Around the edges, right. So they put a glue between the stave and the head. Interestingly enough, that glue is made out of flour and water. Chavetz! So we have to do a special run that's called Inacoplastico that they do special for us kosher barrels. So all over, RHWKP stands for Abhila Weinberger, kosher for Passover, the Moshkiach and the wine here in California. And this is produced in Italy, so it also has Rabbi Hazan from Italy giving a action. The same thing goes for France, the same thing goes for Missouri. We send mashgichim all over when they produce the barrels for us. We have to send the mashgichim. So as it turns, 24 bottles, uh, actually more, 36 bottles at a time. It fills it up, it comes out, it gets splashed with nitrogen. Again. Okay. That's something you didn't see in New York. No. Because the nitrogen is heavier than oxygen. We learned that we don't want air in the water because the wine won't age. So we have nitrogen, that's when you take out a cork and it makes that sound, because oxygen is being introduced into your bottle of wine. Then it gets the cork. This is the labeler, so the, the bottles continue going in. 
gets the front label, turns the bottle around, puts on the back label, and then here is the bottle. Actually, our brand new packaging. New Baron Herzog, new wine, new label, 2014 vintage. We're in the whites 2015. This is the new look for the Baron Herzog. And this, this, this has been aged at least two years, if not This more. one is 2014. So here you see, this is 2014. We're 2016. 2014 is when the grapes were picked, harvested. So this was this grapes were harvested in the year 2014. And it's being released, we're bottling now, we're releasing it in January of 2016. We designed and built the winery as two wineries in one building. Meaning we have a boutique winery and we have the big commercial winery. So we have the big value, the volume and value wine, which is the barracks are bigger. And then we have the reserve and those small lot, which we make lots, 300, 500, 600, 700 case lots. Small lot, which is really boutique, hand on the crew, just busy with small lots winemaking. So we have two wineries in one. How many square feet is just the warehouse part of the factory? Yeah, the facility is 77,000 square foot. Wow. Not only can you come down to Herzog Winery in Oxnard, California, people can actually see the process. There There's is a, a process, tour. There's a process, there's a self-guided tour. There's a tour, there's a, tasting. there's a tasting room, so you can actually see yourself the difference. And there is a fabulous restaurant called Terrasaur, which we just experienced ourselves. And I will tell you, a five-star dining had to be paired with five-star wine. This would be the place to do it. Beautiful. Mati, thank you very much. Thank you. I guess I can tell you Kosher and Pesach now, right? Yes.